Welcome back to Doom the Board Game. We're playing Knee Deep in the Dead, the first scenario. Let's get to it. Our Marine goes first. Uh, I think I am just going to have him sprint. He's got to get moving in this scenario. So he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right in front of the door. That's all he can do. Let's hope that he doesn't get into trouble. All right. And of course, Demon Player goes directly after that. Uh, and believe it or not, the Demon Player is not going to play anything. All right, so let me just readjust the camera a little bit here, and then we're going to get right back into our Marine. So we're going to move pretty quickly, I think, unless, of course, we run into trouble. All right, so yes, of course, we are at a door. And so I'm going to have our Marine do an activation, which means he can move four spaces and attack once. Um, so he's just going to use his first two movement to open this door. All right, so of course I'm going to have to readjust the camera. We're going to have to load the um, corridors or room behind this to see what's going on. Uh, so we're going to do that. And of course the Marine's going to have two more movement and one attack left. So let's get to revealing the new area. Okay, so the Marine pops open the door. And what does he find but a bunch of not good stuff. All right, so we're just going to read the area text. It says, the corridor is thick with hideous creatures, several of whom surround a dying scientist. Help me, he cries, growing weaker by the second. So here we have, I guess, a dying scientist, and of course, the hideous creatures. Um, so our Marine has two movement, one attack left. And what he's going to do is he's going to back off one, two to here. And he's going to do a little bit of grenade action. He has two grenades, so we're going to spend a grenade token. And he's going to throw the grenade right here, which is one, two, three spaces away. And the area effect should hit the demon dog and the zombie. So he's going to throw it right here, one, two, three. Let's go to the dice tray. Uh, or actually, let's go over to the uh, area and we'll take a look at the grenade and how it works. Then we'll go to the dice tray and roll to hit. Okay, so here we have the grenade stats. It rolls one uh, yellow, two blue die dice, and it uh, has this little ability, which is seeker, which means you can throw around corners. I guess you bounce it off walls, or it doesn't have to be thrown in a line of sight straight line. And it does a blast radius of one. So the space it lands on in every adjacent space also gets hit. So that's how the grenade works. He's chucking it one, two, three spaces away. Because it uses the yellow die, he gets marksman, which is a plus three range. Uh, so he cannot miss unless he rolls an X, of course. So let's go to the dice tray and chuck that grenade. And let's hope we can take out the demon dog and the zombie with it. Okay, so the Marine throws a grenade. And like I said, he has lots of range. So he can't miss unless he rolls an X. Let's not roll an X. Ooh, we did not roll an X. Uh, and of course, because he's rolling the yellow die, he gets three range automatically. So four range, he was only shooting three spaces away. No problem. So he's going to do three, four, five, six, seven, uh, damage to everything on that space and every adjacent space. Uh, and seven damage is going to be enough to overcome the demon dog's three defense. It only has two hit points, so it will die. And the zombie has two defense, two hit points. They are both blown up by the grenade. Let's go to the main board and remove them. Okay, so nicely done, our uh, grenade thrower uh, to here takes out the demon dog, blows up, and so does the zombie. Nice toss. But he does get that marksman ability. All right, so demon player's turn. They are going to draw a card. And yes, of course, they are going to spawn. And they're going to spawn... Basically, one of everything except the big bad guy. So we're going to spawn one zombie. We're going to spawn... Is this thing going to focus? Focus! One zombie, one imp, and one trite spider demon. All right. So let's get them on the board. A spider, an imp, and a zombie. Uh, of course, this blocks line of sight. And so does the uh, corners here. So let's put the imp right back here. I don't know if you can see that. We're going to put the imp back here. We're going to put the spider in this corner which uh, is line of sight blocked and of course the zombie hiding around this corner right in the bottom all right so now it is time to move uh, figures and so i'm going to move uh, the imp i have to keep adjusting the camera the imp up here is going to move four one two three and he's going to tuck over here four 
Uh, of course, the zombie moves one, two, three. Spider can go one, two, three, four, five. Oh no, he can't go that way. Let me try this again. One, two, three, four, five. He's gonna go on this side, and this zombie is gonna go one here. And you couldn't see any of that. So the spider manages to get on this side of the thing by going one, two, three, four, and our zombie just moved one space here. All right, our marine is now gonna take three attacks, one from the imp, one from the zombie, one from the spider demon. He has three uh, armor, so he may get away with this fairly easily. So let's go to the dice tray and see if he's gonna take a beating or get off easily. All right, so I'm gonna roll the imp attack first. And the imp gets a yellow and a blue. Ooh. And, ooh, I think this is good. We only have a range of two. However, the imp does have one automatic range is three. That's enough to hit our marine. And yes, that's five hits. But with three armor, that's only going to be one damage. So that's not great, but it's not terrible. So that's one hit from the imp. And our zombie rolls a red and a blue. He hits the hardest, so let's hope he can miss. And he does four uh, hits, so that's another damage. So we're up to two damage. And the little spider guy is a red and a green. Miss! And he doesn't miss, but he only does two damage. Uh, and that's not enough to do any, uh, any wounds. So our marine is going to take two wounds. Let's go to his area. Uh, and then it's going to be the marine's turn. Okay, well, any wounds is too much, but two wasn't too bad for three attacks, so one, two. Uh, that leaves us, I believe, with five, six health left. Not great. We have one grenade, one ammo. Let's go back to the main board, and we will uh, play our Marine. All right, our Marine player here feeling slightly surrounded. Oh, and one thing I did forget to mention is at the end of the... Demon player's turn, we put a wound token on the expiring uh, scientist up in the hallway up here. So I'm putting one on there. So we don't know what that means, except uh, he is expiring. All right, our Marine's turn. Of course, he's going to do his ground assault. Three attacks, and he can move two spaces. So he is just going to fire up the chainsaw uh, and get sawing. So let's go to the dice tray and see if he can take some of these uh, invaders down. All right, so the first chainsaw attack, one red die. Uh, of course, it's going to be on the zombie and the trite spider, which are right beside him. And that's going to be three, four hits, and that's excellent. That's what we need. Uh, that's going to kill the zombie and the trite. So let's go to the board, remove them, uh, and he still has two movement and two more attacks. All right, so with the first uh, chainsaw attack, he takes out the zombie and the spider demon, the trite. Now he can still move two spaces and attack uh, two more times. So he's going to go, of course, one, two, uh, right up to the imp and the other zombie. And two more attacks means two more chainsaws. So let's go back to dice tray and see if he can take down the imp and this zombie. All right, chainsaw attack number two. Well, that's enough to take down the imp. That's going to do three damage. Uh, the imp only has a armor of two and one health. So the imp is killed. However, the zombie only takes one wound. So the third and final chainsaw attack, come on. Yes. Three, four, and that is enough to take out the rest. So let's go back to the main board. Uh, and it's going to be the demon player's turn. All right, so chainsaw attacks. Managed to take the imp out in the first, wound the zombie, and the next chainsaw, final attack, takes out the rest. And that's going to be the end of the marine's turn. So, of course, yes, we are on to the uh, invader player's turn, demon player's turn. And that means he gets to draw one card, which he did, and he gets to play a card. He is now up to eight cards. Um, and so... He is not... Actually, he is going to play something. He's going to review his cards here for a minute. He's got eight of them now. And we're going to come back and see if he's going to play a card. Of course, we have the expiring scientist up here. So let's review some cards and come right back. All right. So the card that the invader demon player is going to play is called Shaky Footing. And it says play at the start of your turn, which I suppose technically should have been before grabbing a card. But I think grabbing a card is... And this is still start of your turn. So the Marines move two fewer spaces than normal until the start of your next turn. So I'm just going to leave that there. That hinders our Marines movement. And because it was the end now of the second uh, demon player's turn, we're going to put a second 
wound token on the scientist. So now uh, it's our marine player's turn again. And what does the marine player want to do? Well, he probably would like to get over to that scientist, but now he has shaky footing. Two fewer spaces. So um, the only way he's going to get over there is by sprinting. Uh, there are no demons on the board, so maybe that's not such a bad idea. So he is going to sprint. Now he can only move six because of the shaky footing card. So he's going to go one, two, three, four, and five. He's going to stand and see what's going on with this expiring scientist. And of course, the second he gets over there and ends his turn there, um, we have the scientist looks up with wild eyes. Don't let them get the prototype. It's in a vault in the northwestern corner of the sector. Here, take the combination. Use the weapon against them. With that, he dies. All right, so he has given us a combination to something in the northwestern sector of the base here. And I wonder what that could be. Um, so we have a combination to something uh, up in the northwest. Well, of course, this is north. However, right now, it's the demon player's turn. And the demon player, of course, they draw a doom card. And they are not going to play anything. All right. And so now we're back to the Marine. Boy, the Marine is just getting lucky or something here. Um, it is now the Marine's turn, of course. And the shaky footing is now removed because uh, that effect is over at the start of the Demon Player's turn, which has come and gone. And so now our Marine has our full capability to move. And being a little paranoid with this northern door, he's going to do a ready action. So he's going to move one, two, three. He's just going to open up the new area. Uh, and that will leave him with one more movement and a ready action. So let's expose the new area and see what we find. All right, so we open this door and we have a long corridor with a door at this end, at the west end, and a door at the east end. We have two demon dogs, two imps. We have a health pack. We have two ammunition. Uh, we have an energy cell ammunition and we have grenades. Now our marine, of course, has one move left and a ready action. Um, so he's going to back off. Wow, this is back off to here. And, of course, go into Overwatch mode. So this it could be a trouble for our Marine. Uh, however, uh, we're going to read the section. So that's the end of the Marine's turn, basically. But I'm going to read the area. Selection says, This corridor is poorly lit. The red emergency lighting flickers, emitting showers of sparks. The corridor is littered with the remains of UAC employees. Hideous creatures kneel over them, engaging in a terrible feast. Oh, that's lovely. So they're munching away on a bunch of dead UAC personnel. Ah, uh, but we're ready now for anything the demon throws at us. <clears throat> yeah. All right, so the demon player, of course, first thing they do, they get a doom card. Um, and they are going to hang on to it. Um, and what are they going to do? I think they are, they're going to play a card card they are going to play is called Darkness. Of course, this is a dark corridor. Now, is this going to zoom? I apologize if this does not focus. Uh, darkness, play at the start of your turn. Till the start of your next turn, Marines cannot trace line of sight farther than four spaces away. This card does not affect how invaders trace line of sight. So, uh, if they are more than four spaces away, they cannot uh, use line of sight. So, uh, I don't know if that's going to be very effective, but we're going to play it anyway. The invader, of course, has two, four, six, eight. Whoops, he had to discard a card as well. Uh, so he is going to do that, and he's going to discard a card. He should have discarded a card first. I gave him nine cards, and he plays the darkness card. All right, it is time now for the demons to move, and the first demon to move is going to be this imp, and he's going to move one, two... Uh, to here, no, three, four. He's going to come right beside and try shooting a Marine. Now, is our Marine going to use his Overwatch ability right now? Uh, or is he going to wait? I think he's going to wait. Uh, and so the next movement is going to be 
Uh, the demon dog is going to move one, two, three, four to here. And that is when our Marine is going to uh, use his overwatch. So, of course, he's going to use the chainsaw. Uh, and he's now adjacent to two enemies. So, let's go to the dice tray and he's going to roll his overwatch attack. And then we'll continue on with the demon. All right. So, our Marine on overwatch fires up the chainsaw and he. Ooh, that's nice. He does a total of four damage. That definitely takes the imp out of the picture. However, I do believe the demon dog has a defense of three. Uh, so that is just going to give the demon dog one wound. So let's go back to the uh, board and deal with that. All right, so we managed to saw up the imp and we managed to put one damage on the demon dog. Um, and now, there still are two movements. This imp has not moved yet. <clears throat> this imp is going to move one, two, three, four to here. And this other demon dog is going to go one, two, three, and four to there. Uh, and now it is time for attacks. So the imp is going to attack and then we have the demon dog attacking. So let's go to the dice tray and we will have the uh, demon player do his two. And attacks. the first attack is going to be from the imp. The imp has one automatic range, so he cannot miss. Uh, he has a yellow and a blue, but he can miss with an X. Just like that. All right, the imp misses. I guess he sprinted too much in the darkness. Uh, and now it is time for the demon dog to go. And yes, of course, they're going to play another card. They're going to play Rage. It says, play when you activate an invader. The invader may attack twice during this activation. So our demon dog gets to attack two times, uh, which is just not good. Uh, so he hits really hard. He, of course, has a red uh, die and two blue dice, and he gets to attack twice. Come on, let's see some X's. Ooh, that is not an X. That is uh, pain. Three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, that's enough to put two wounds on our Marine, but he gets to attack again. And wow, three, four, five, six. That's two more. That's a total of four wounds on our Marine. That is not good. Let's go to the Marine's area and take those four wounds off and see what he's got left. All right, four wounds coming off. So one, two, three, four. Our Marine is down to two life points left. Not good. Let's go back to the board. I think we're going to end off with our Marine turn. Uh, and then the demon turn, and that's going to be it for this episode. Wow, that was another painful attack by the demon player. All right, so our marine is going to try and get some payback. He is going to do, of course, ground assault. He can move two spaces, attack three times, and let's see what he does over the dice tray. So he's going to, of course, use the chainsaw first to hit the imp and the demon dog right off the bat. So let's go over the dice tray and get him uh, rolling for the chainsaw. All right, we want some nice high damage from the chainsaw. Oh, and that's pretty good. So that's going to be three, four hits from the chainsaw. Just cheat a little bit here. Yes, that's going to totally wipe out the imp. Uh, it does one damage to the demon dog, but the demon dog, of course, already has one damage, so it removes him as well. All right, uh, I think we can cheat a little bit here. He can still move two spaces and attack one more time. So we're going to move one, two. He's going to pick up the energy cells. So I'm going to add that over to his uh, play mat. And he gets to attack one more time. And he is going to use... What's he going to use? Uh, he has one ammo. He's going to use the... Um, he's going to use the machine gun. It gives him a yellow, blue, and green. And he can't miss with range because he is the marksman. So let's go ahead and do that. Yellow, blue, green for the machine gun. And let's see if he can take down this demon dog. Ooh, did he do it? He gets, well, a range of three, four, five. He used up his ammo token, but he does three, four, five, five damage. That's just not quite enough uh, to take him down. All right, so we're going to just add one wound to this demon dog. And um, that's... Uh, that's it, I think. I don't think he has one more attack. Maybe he does. Let me review. If he has one more attack, that's good. If not, he is in trouble. All right. So, in fact, yes, our Marine used the chainsaw, took out the imp and the demon dog first shot. Uh, then he used the machine gun for his second attack, uh, using up his only ammunition. So, he has no more ammo, but he does have a grenade token left. 
So for his third and final attack from uh, ground assault, he's going to chuck that grenade. And he's going to throw the grenade right at the demon's head, which is only two spaces away. And because it uses a yellow die, he cannot miss unless he rolls an X. Let's go to the dice tray. Let's throw that grenade to see what happens. All right, let's hope for a successful hit. Yellow, two, blue. Oh my goodness, it does all kinds of damage. Uh, it does three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage. That completely disintegrates. Uh, our demon dog here is completely gone. So the machine gun did one damage. The grenade finishes him off. And let's go back to the main board. That's the end of our Marine's turn. We're going to end off this episode with the demon player. And that will be it. All right. So the demon player we're going to end off the episode with. They get to draw one card, which, of course, they do. Um... And they are going to keep that. So they're not going to do anything. Uh, they do now have seven cards total, just so you know. Our Marine has three armor, two health. He only has one energy cell. Uh, he has no ammunition, no grenades left. Uh, however, there's a bunch of stuff out in the hallway, two ammunition grenades and a health pack. So that's pretty looking pretty good for our Marine. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Join me next time when we continue Knee Deep in the Dead. Our Marine now has two options. Does he go to the west, possibly looking for some special thing that the scientist told him about? Or does he just sprint to the east to get out of here as soon as possible before he gets fragged a bunch more times and loses the game? All right, join me next time to find out Knee Deep in the Dead. We're playing Doom, the board game. Thanks for watching.